Hi, it's Linda from Diamonds for Linda. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is the first time visiting. I really appreciate y'all just clicking on the link. Uh, today I just wanted to share items that I got for diamond painting related. And so this one actually is not diamond diamond painting related, but they are books by Randall Spangler and some bookmarks that I got. I got these from his website. So the books are autographed, which is pretty neat. I love, it's always fun to get an autographed book. And then I got these cute bookmarks. Are these not, let me take my glasses off. Aren't these just so adorable? I haven't even taken them out of the plastic. Dream Quest. Has this one been a diamond painting yet? I'm not sure. And then this one, I don't think so, has been a diamond painting yet. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. And this one, I'm not sure if this one is. Is this one a current one or not? This one is called, this one is called Stardust maybe? That's what's on the jar. So if you order these from the books from directly from Randall Spangler's website, you do get an autographed copy. He will autograph it for you. And um, if you order them from Diamond Art Club, they won't be autographed because the, from my understanding, the books are are um, shipped directly to Diamond Art Club from the printers and not from Rand Randall Spangler. So. Yeah, so I was excited about that order. So again, it's not diamond painting, but it, diamond painting related in that it has the draglings and their story. I haven't even read them yet. And to tell you the truth, I have not even looked through the all the pictures, all the illustrations yet. So, like I know that one was a diamond painting. I don't, I missed that one. I didn't get it. I would love to get every one that comes out, but I just can't afford to, so... There is one that's limited edition that I'm hoping I will get for Christmas, and if not, I'm also hoping that if I don't get it for Christmas, it'll still be there and I could get it after Christmas. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. So what I have is just a, this bag full of um, trays that I ordered. And this is how I put them when I'm putting my stuff away in diamond painting. So let's just pull some of this out. So this right here, this, this is the most recent diamond art tray that I just put in here. I want to try it out. They're so small. I'm, not, I'm such a, um, you know, I just, I'm a messy diamond painter. So those small ones kind of don't work for me, but I'm trying it out so I can kind of let you all know how it's working for me. So do you guys notice this, these trays? And this one has dividers, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but I don't think I have them with me. So let, let me see, these are lids, I'm just taking these all out and I'm trying to keep it all together. So this big tray, I bought, are they both the venti? So these are two ventis that I bought from NYX, NYX I believe, and I love the size and I also end up using them a lot to put my diamond pens in, my tweezers, so everything I need here. When I diamond paint, I just have it in this tray. And I actually have another order from this company coming up. Um, it's not here yet, but I ordered from them again because I really like their trays. I love that they these are like one inch right here. There are no lids on this one, but they do sell some with lids. Um, at first I thought I was just gonna always want them with lids, but I realized that I don't really need a lid for every single tray I have. And it's actually worked out okay. And you know what, I even put my, um, because I usually have a cup of coffee or something to drink, I will even put my cup in here or on this one, depending on which tray I'm not using, because I don't want, if my coffee is kind of hot, um, well, you know, coffee's hot, I don't know if it'll mess with the glue or not. So, and I have such a small space, I don't have extra tables sometimes, depending on the diamond painting size. So this works out really nice. And this one's actually, um, like once you, if you hold it long enough, it will change to pink. So it's a purple pink one. And these just come off like that. And let's see. So, oh yeah, Nix's Notions. I like that they put their name on there so I will remember and what it's called because I forget. 
And then those just slide up and down like that. But sorry if you're using ear earphones. So I really like these. The only thing that um, might frustrate some is you gotta get used to the higher walls. So if you have it close and you're just kind of doing this, um, sometimes you will hit this because you're so used to the trays that aren't as, as uh, tall. So here's a Diamond Art Club tray and then this is my Nix's Notion. And I, I absolutely love these. Like I said, they fit my pens. Ooh, and look at here, I got my first Poshy pen. And I think this is a wooden pen. Isn't that just gorgeous? Oh, I forgot to get my um, Batman pen. It's not its not a Batman pen, but I call it that. its I'll have to show that in another video because I don't have it with me. It's in the living room. And then these are just um, pens. One of these pens, I'm not sure if it's this one. I think it's, yeah, I think it's this one I got from Diamond Art Club or Craftably, I don't remember. And then these two are from Amazon I got and then the tips I got one set from Diamond Art Club and then I got another set from Amazon like I think I think it's this one it comes with different size tips which I don't have with me in this video so I wasn't planning on really sharing it but these ones twist so they only go to this pen so they have like a, a twist right there but they have different sizes in the pack that you buy I think it was like $15 or something like that so yeah, so that's what I have in here. And they fit perfectly, and I take them out if I need to use the tray, but I did buy extra trays, so I don't always have to take them out. So that are that's these trays, and I got this one also from Nix's, Nix's Notion, and this is just the, the uh, tall boy. And again, this is one inch. I'm sure these are all the same, right? Yeah. And I use this one a lot for the ones that don't have as many diamonds. And then if I have like the three tens are just a lot. I use this one. I'll keep that out since we all kind of know the diamond art club size compared to the next set of trays that I got. I'll just put that over here and I'll put them all back in my bag a little bit later. So this one is a divider that I got from, uh, does it say on here? Nope. Um, Bella de Nicole, if I'm saying that correctly, here's the little logo with the butterfly. And I didn't participate in Drills and Chills, but when they did a drop at that time, I really wanted to try these trays, so I just ordered this one and Festival Festival of Witches. And I thought since I had 2022, it was, it was the year that I started diamond painting. And this one has the little locking, well not locking, but the little stopper right here. And then this will just slide on like that. This is when I thought I was going to need uh, lids for every single tray I owned. Because <laughs> I do have another set of trays that I bought from Etsy that I think I shared in another video. So this one, this one is really pretty. I like the colors on this one. I might get a few more. I do like these ones, um, although I do reach for the NYX's Notion more just because of the higher walls. But these ones work really well as, too. And it just goes on like that. This is nice because if you do walk away and you want to come back, at least you could put the lid on. So, and then there's a little stopper right there. So these are nice too. Um, so yeah, so these are my trays. And I do, I am getting some more of these. And I I do want to get another set from this, from um, Bella's art. But um, I don't know when I will. Maybe next year sometime, which is not too far from now. Because there's so many pretty colors, but I just don't have the money right now to get trays, especially when I, um, yeah, when I've been trying to get more diamond paintings. <laughs> so those are my trays. And then I also got this from um, Bella Art. It's so cute. I love it. It's the one with the magnet that's um, in the plastic, which I can't show you upside down because I have these drills in here. These drills are from Diamond Art Club. I'm just having a hard time there. Some of their drills that the with the kit that I'm working on is Princess Mermaid and two colors, just the um, drills are have a lot of static and also the they're like fused together. Let me see if I could find one. I'll show you real quick if I can. Like this one, I don't know if it will, see how it's round and it won't come apart. So I've been having a lot of drills like that. I don't know what's going on with that one. 
And this is just some wax stuck in there that I haven't cleaned out. I don't even know how it got in there. So I'm going to put this aside so it doesn't fall over. Oh my goodness, I've had drills just fall out a few times because I forget and I pick it up and I turn it over, forgetting that I have drills in there. So when you get from Nix's Notion, they come in this pretty, they're all wrapped and they have these um, cute stickers and I just really like them. Prepare to, to do a happy dance. You're pretty awesome for shopping small. They're so cute. I don't even want to throw them away. And this one says, love your order, snap, share, and review. And I hope this makes you smile. It sure did. I smiled when I got my order. And there was another one, but I, I think I threw that one out. And then, this is not from a small shop. This is from Hobby Lobby. I got this tacky. It works really good. And I actually got three of them because they're so cheap. So I thought I would just do that. And then I got this release paper from Amazon. Uh, I, I love it because you could it's on either side. It doesn't matter which side is facing the glue or not. And I don't... I don't put them all over my canvas, but since sometimes when I'm putting diamonds in, I'm getting stuck to the canvas. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna get some release paper so I could at least put it here while I'm diamond painting a little bit on the other side or it's come so handy. So I don't section off my whole kit with this, but I use it. I have a few in each of my um, diamond where I had done, where I kitted up. I have a few in each one of my Elizabeth board. So, because they come in so handy. I really love those. I want to buy some of the cute ones, so hopefully next year I can get to that. And then a sticker maker. I haven't even used it yet, but I actually have one, but I don't know where it is. So I just thought I would go ahead and get another one for those kits that, because I do have a few kits that don't have these stickers with the, the paper with legend or whatever you call it, have the symbols on it and stuff so when you kit up so I bought one of these so when I do kit up all of it will be ready and this it's so hard to find the one with the this is permanent um sticky so what I plan to do is just kind of like maybe put it on my my jeans or something before or because they have the one that's not permanent but that one's so expensive and I didn't want and this one came with the permanent little sticker sticky stuff and then I also got this from my Bella order. And this has come in handy. I don't use it too often, but when I need it, at least I have one. And when you when I ordered from Nix's Notion, you got some little extra stoppers as a free gift. So each one came with an extra stopper, which is nice in case you lose one. And let's see, it's more tacky. And then this also came with Nix's Notion. And I haven't opened it because I wanted to save it for... I wanted to do an unboxing, but I, oh yeah, I never did. So let's see what goodies you get. So you have a free gift just for you. Thank you. And then Nix's, um, this is their website, Nix's Notion and Facebook. I'm trying to look Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Although I bought on Etsy, so. I bought mine on Etsy and it came with this little washi tape, which is very, oh, how pretty. It's like little candies or swirls or, I don't know. What are those things that they put them in the wind and they, they twirl? Oh, I can't remember the name of that. Ooh, some chamomile, honey, and vanilla tea. I'm going to enjoy that. And then this is a little sampler from, ooh. Uh-oh, 10% off, and then I just shared it with everybody. Sorry about that. Um, So this is like DP with Sparks and some little extra. I do. I am going to order from her soon. I did order a, a kit from her, but I want to order some of the diamonds from her. And then these are just, I think these are other business cards. Oh, look at that. It's a gnome. Is that's not so cute? Oh, my goodness. That is so cute. I got to find a place for that. And then, oh, my goodness. I'm just giving away codes right and left. So and there's another one, Nix's Notion, and a cute little Apple sticker. And then a little thank you. And some candies that my kids, I'm sure, are going to enjoy that. Oh, look at this little nail file too. 
I could um, use that. My nails are horrible looking. Pretty. So that all came with that. Oh, I apologize for all those coupon codes. But, um, so then I also got this. And here's another DP with sparklers. If you want to go visit her site, she has a lot of um, ways to bling up your diamond paintings. And I can't wait to do my order with the bling. I would like to order some more kits from her as well. And then this is from, and I wrote the name down, is Oh Snap Crafters Cafe on Etsy. And I got a little sticker and it came in this cute little bag here. And I ordered, isn't that so cute? And this was on here as well. I just put it in this little bag because I was trying to keep, because it has a scent on that. Is that so pretty? That's the, um, what is the tree, the name of the tree? Tree of life. Oh, and it smells so good. I think I got like, oh my goodness. It smells really good. And it came on here like this. So I ordered these two. And I got this one because I'm always having a Starbucks drink. In fact, I have one right here because Starbucks is literally 225 feet away from me. <laughs> And some of my kids work there, so I, I get lots of Starbucks. And then I love the Tree of Life. I've always loved that um, tree. And it comes, I think the scent I got, because it didn't, I don't think I had an invoice. I'm not sure. But I think it was like cookies or baked cookies or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but it smells really good. And then when the smell is gone, I have essential oils that I could put in there. So, and I Oh, and then I also got, let's see, when I ordered from um, DP with sparklers or diamond painting sparklers, when I sh shared the kit with you all, I didn't share that. I got, um, oh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. I got this beautiful sticker, so now that I shared it with you all, I could use it. And then like this sample, and look at this. Is that not beautiful? So, yeah, I can't wait to order some some of these from her. They're gorgeous. So she gives you this little sample. I wonder if that's a sticker. And then from Craftably, on my last order, I ordered some gloss finish. Eileen's Acrylic Sealer Gloss Finish. And, and um, because I do have one diamond painting I am working on. It's a whip right now. And it's Walk on the Moon, I think. And I got it from Bella Safina. And it's a Sally, or I think it's Sally Baldy. Sally, or uh, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't have the, the name of the artist correct. But um, it seems like that one might need to be sealed, because it's just uh, the diamonds are kind of sliding and things like that. So I'm not sure. But anyway, I got this. Just so when I do need to seal the diamond painting, I can, I will try it out and let you all know what I think. So, and I think that's it. My little container here is empty. And let's see, I'm blind, going in blind. I can't see without my glasses. So yeah, I just have extras. Hey, so is this blue wax? Do you all know, um, is it the same across the board? Because I really like, there's a one that I got with one of my um, kits that I ordered. Not a diamond painting kit, but a uh, where you kit up the containers. It's one that zips around, kind of like a suitcase container. And it had some blue wax and I really like it. And I wonder if it's the same across the board because I saw some on Amazon and I was thinking of ordering some. So I'm still trying to figure out what works best for me and my diamond painting. I do like the tacky, this stuff. Where is it? I do like this in my multi-placer. And, but this one worked really well too. So, and I'm trying to figure out just kind of sticking with, with something because when, when you put like a wax in one and then you try putting another kind of like a tacky or something, it, it's kind of, I don't know how to clean these out really well to switch over. So I do have some metal placers that, um, I think I use like this or the red one. You know, there's different ones. So I'm trying to figure out what works for me to kind of stick with that. So, although I did buy some Mary's mud and that's not here yet. That will be in another video. So I'm anxious and can't wait to try out that because um, I'm sure it's going to smell so wonderful. 
But anyway, I kept you long enough. It's already going into 20 minutes. So I thought I will, I'll just go ahead and end it here since I don't have anything else that I bought. Oh, look it. Oh no, that's not it. I thought I had the dividers, but that was just a piece of cardboard. See what happens when you don't wear your glasses? Let me put my glasses back on. Oh, crazy me. So anyway, let me know if you have ordered from any of these um, places or even if you've tried the Hobby Lobby Tacky or things like that. I'd really appreciate it because it's always fun to get comments and read them and just, uh, you know, kind of visit with each other. So you all have a great day and remember to live a life filled with color because it's so much prettier that way. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.